Please listen carefully. Hey everybody, this is Jace for Marshall Made Collectibles, and today we're doing something a little bit different. Instead of doing uh, our normal fare, which is usually action figures, toys, or customs, Today, uh, we recently upgraded our camera system for all our videos and for uh, taking pictures of our custom figures. Um, so we needed something uh, really nice to do our reviews and something that uh, we'll definitely, we can grow with. So what we got was a Canon Rebel SL1. And um, pricing around, um, we found the best price of all places to actually be QVC. And QVC was doing a special for the month of May where it was discounted. Comes with a lot of extras like an extra camera bag, um, uh, extra lens, and everything. And the price point is actually less than what you would pay if you even went to Amazon and just bought the camera body. So uh, with that said, we're going to go ahead and unbox everything that came in the set that we got from QVC. And if you're interested, I will put a link to the the current sale that they're doing in the, the body of the information for the video anyway one of the things it does come with is all this photography software essentials it's an eight pack uh, it's just a bunch of like 25 dollars promos um, you get a uh, photo affections 25 dollars promo canvas world 25 dollars promo my custom case 25 dollars promo Hallmark Photo Project Studios, Print Art Artist uh, Craft Studio, Easy Photo 3. Um, uh, there's a video editor and an SOS online backup personal cloud for one year uh, subscription service. Apparently this is supposed to be, I forget, I think they said something like, uh, you know, a hundred or two hundred dollars worth of stuff. Probably more than likely I might not use any of it. I'm not flipping it over because that's where all the codes are, but that's one of the things you get. Totally not the reason why I got this set up. Uh, just the camera itself is what it's worth. In fact, even this, I think this is the bag. I'm not even keeping the bag. I bought a Rebel Canon uh, bag, uh, which is in another review. So this, it's nice if you want it for me. Eh. All right. So let's go ahead and go into this stuff. We'll go ahead and open up this real quick because I know this is going to be the bag. And I will more than likely end up putting this on Evil Bay. It's a nice little nylon camera bag. Um, got a pocket on this side. Pocket on this side. It feels like that mesh spongy material on the sides. This feels like nylon. Um, pinch to open. Got a little Velcro pocket up front. dual zipper action going on your padded strap and then um, velcro pockets that you can move around and adjust for everything like I said it's a nice bag um, it's definitely not my style uh, so with that said if you're interested in a camera bag you can check out my eBay store because this bad boy will be up there probably before the night's out all right again the main reason that I got the setup and went with QVC is the price point and that's all in here so let's go ahead and open this up okay Now, there's a list of goodies that it came with. Uh, you get a scan disk uh, memory card, which is a 16 uh, gigabyte. Uh, 
I'm going to use this as like a backup because I went ahead and picked myself up a 64 gigabyte, which would be good for and uh, for um, doing full HD videos and what have you. Um, 16 is great, but it's not going to let me record very long. Be great for pictures and whatnot, though. Um, you get a DVD from Canon. Uh, digital camera instructional video. Uh, unleash the creativity uh, with your Canon EOS Rebel cameras. Canon offers a winning combination of design, performance, ease of use that can allow you to take outstanding photos and video with a touch of a button. What's inside? Getting started. Camera prep and camera settings. Kind of cool because for me, um, I'm a total newbie. I'm not... Um, proficient with like aperture speeds or anything like that uh, I want to be so uh, maybe this will help I went ahead and did buy a, a quick field guide to that's specifically for the uh, SL1 and that should be here uh, tomorrow and uh, that's just because I wanted to be proficient in it and if I'm going to spend this kind of money for a camera I want to be able to do everything that it can do all right everything else that's in here we've got our 75 to 300 millimeter zoom lens now this lens itself i've seen sell for anywhere from about 200 to 250 dollars and then we have the eos that box out of the way rebel sl1 uh, this is the white version i don't know if it was limited edition or what have you but it's not just the uh, um, body of the camera it also includes the 18 by uh, 55 millimeter lens so well let's just go ahead and open up the first lens Okay, we have some legalese. All right, uh, a warranty card for U.S. and Canada only. Very, very cool. It's, it's actually pretty heavy. Um, like I said, I'm completely new to this. There's the connects for when uh, you're doing your autofocus and you have a little switch there to toggle between manual and autofocus so extremely cool put that off to the side let's get to the actual rebel camera Warranty card, warranty card for the lens. Uh, customers who purchase the camera with white body, the weight of the camera mentioned in the structural manual applies to the camera with black body. The weight of the camera with the white body is as follows. So it looks like it's maybe an ounce off with the white body compared to the black body. Don't know why that's different. All right, you have your two different guides, uh, one in English, one in Spanish. Uh, no bueno. So I will be reading the one in English. We have our uh, 18 to 55 millimeter lens instructions. Uh, 
an EOS Digital Solutions Disk software. Uh, we'll be downloading that to our system. We have our. Uh, it's in basically another instruction manual, but it's on a disk. Cool. So we'll go ahead and download that too. Pull that back. Uh, we have our can uh, Canon uh, camera strap. Now I know a lot of people think these are dorky. Mine will be on my camera. For the amount that this camera costs, I would much rather, if it slips out of my hand, to hit my chest than to hit the ground. So, I will be using that. I don't care how dorky it looks. Um, we have our USB cable. We have a wall charger so we can charge the batteries. Now, I went ahead and picked up uh, some additional batteries um, um, off of Amazon, and it came with an additional wall charger. So that would be good to be able to keep up with uh, having multiple batteries and switch out when they die. Our actual battery. Okay, let me scoot this away just a little bit. And then we have our... Uh, our lens and this is the 18 to 55 millimeter which is really nice about this is because we do get the white camera this lens is in white which is completely different and I, I don't know if Canon's ever done that before where they actually did the lens to match the, the camera body and so you have the image stabilization on this so if you were trying to do like a, uh, where you made the aperture open for a uh, longer for like a few seconds to get like that blur effect, like you see people do for traffic or like a waterfall, um, with a stabilizer on it, will minimize that shake. So you won't get that and you'll end up with a beautiful, clear picture, except for what you're trying to blur. Okay. Macro from 0.25 meters to 0.8 feet. Very cool. Just really well made. I, I mean, I'm not trying to be... I mean, I've never, I've never had like a high end camera in my life. In fact, I'm recording this unboxing on a little crappy Samsung camera. So it's just amazing dealing with, you know, like high quality parts. All right, that's it for the box. Let's move that out of the way. All right. It's nice, it's in like a little, almost like cheesecloth kind of bag. And there she is in all her glory, uh, the EOS Rebel SL1. Now, um, the Rebel has basically three entry line uh, type cameras, and I really wouldn't say entry line, they start out at like almost $500 and move their way up. But it goes the, um, basically the Rebel T5, the SL1, and then the T5 are the five, yeah, T5i, I think, is the other one. So this one just had a few more bells and whistles than, um, let's see, I don't even know what I'm doing yet. There we go. On the side for the mic, AV digital out, and for the HDMI cable. And so you can actually connect like a boom mic to this and have it on the top, or you can get an extra flash. And the back is an anti smudge. Big 
big display. The top. Very cool. Well, what I'm going to do is let me go ahead and uh, put this together and uh, get a uh, battery in here and a memory card. Oh, let's go ahead and open up. That's where the battery and memory card go into. I know it's a lighter camera than like a lot of your um, um, high-end cameras. It still has a nice weight to it. Very beautiful piece of equipment. Okay, so give me a minute. Like I said, I'm going to put some uh, I'll put the battery and the memory card into it. And I'll get this set up and uh, we'll take a look at the, like the on-screen and everything. So I'll be right back. Okay, basically what I have is everything out. And uh, this is everything you get in the QVC package. And um, I got to say, I'm really impressed uh, for the value. This whole thing came in under $460 with uh, free shipping. And QVC lets you do like the flex pay stuff. So you could even break it up over six payments. Um, like I said, just the camera body can sell for like anywhere from $399 to $499. Uh, this lens, um, the 18 by, to 55 can go for oh, over $100. To get the setup of just the camera with this lens, it sells for about $500. And like I said, the 75 to 300 zoom lens, you're looking at anywhere from $150 to $200. And that doesn't include everything else you get. There, there was even some um, booklets in there on how to take better pictures and everything like that. So you get a ton of stuff uh, with the, the QVC deal, including the memory card, the bag, if you're so inclined to keep it, and everything else. Just looking at the camera and playing with it, um, I can't wait to find out everything that this camera does. Uh, right now, I'm still kind of in that idiot mode, but uh, just amazed uh, at looking at this. Um, one of the things I for, uh, forgot to mention is uh, this is a touch screen. So that is amazingly cool. Like everything that you want it to do um, is right there. And I've got big old hands and I'm still able to go ahead and get through all of that with no problem. But uh, it's all there. Everything that you could possibly want. And even if you're taking a picture, you can actually take a picture from the touchscreen without hitting the top button. So just very impressed. Um, and... Oop. There, we'll go ahead and that was me just taking a picture of the scan disc card. <laughs> just screwing around, but um, love it. Um, like I said, I can't wait to find out everything that I can do with it. Anyway, if you're in the market for like a definite upgrade, cause see what I have currently is just a point and shoot. This seems to be a really good entry grade onto a high end camera. So I really can't recommend it enough at the very end of this video. What I will have is some actual pictures that I've taken outside. Um, and I might try to do, uh, some real quick video just so you can see. So, uh, if you are interested or you're in the market, um, they will, uh, give you an idea of what you can expect with this camera. All right. So thank you again. This is Jace from Marshall Made Collectibles. Thank you for your time. <laughs>